Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the siding helper tools that I've created. Okay, so if you ever have a hard time getting your siding lined up and you really don't um, want to have it gone different ways and having this thicker and this thinner and so on and so on where it's completely off-centered, then that's what you would use these for. These are good for one inch siding strips and you can make your own like I did here. I used these on my Beacon Hill because it didn't come with enough when I did my addition. But as you can see, it's one inch. So I'll show you the Beacon Hill real quick. So in the middle here, this is the siding that came with it. Over here on the bottom and the front is the siding that I made. And right along the side there. Sorry, I'm stretching to get to it so you can see it. If you want to see more on this Beacon Hill, you can go on my website, dollhousetutorials.com, and there's lots of videos and stuff on it. Or check out my Facebook page under Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials. There are a lot of photos and stuff like that on this as well. But I just wanted you to see the siding when it's finished when you make it your own. Okay, so I used poster board when I did this, and there's actually a video tutorial on how to do this. You can also use cardstock if you like. And cardstock is not as thick as poster board, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's super, super close in thickness. So you can use that. But as far as marking your lines, you would need a very sharp pencil. Make sure you have a very good point. And that what you do with the siding tools, you're going to place your lines 5 8 inch apart. So, you want to make sure you have it touching the bottom, and then you want to go on the bottom of each one of these, and mark your line. Now when you get to the spot where you can't get up any further with your tool, you can use this tool here to finish where you're at. And then that'll give you your line. And then you can just draw that line over. Oop, that moved on me. So I'm going to go over it twice so I can know where it's at. But basically, that's all you do. There's a taller one in the kit if you have a taller dollhouse. A shorter one. Then there's the one for the angle. So, like, if you're getting up in the center up here and you want to get way up here to mark for your lines, that will give you the ability to do that. So, like, here's my line here. It worked out right there. And then my next line I would draw right there. So that's what you would do with that. This one lets you finish off that edge so you can see it. And you can kind of go up a little bit if you need to on the edge of the roof. So you can get a hold of that line. Now, you can just mark it in a couple different spots like this. Or you can take this as long as you're steady with your hand. And you can literally line your lines up and then draw a line all the way across so that you can see it. As long as you get it somewhat where it's even on this line and even on this line to where it's um, exact, when you get to here it will match up. And then you have an even smaller one. The smaller one you can use for areas that are like by windows and stuff like that or if you have a notch out like on that bay window over there you could get below that with that as well 
or again you can kind of mark on the side and then just draw your line over so in the kit you'll have just so you see the tall one that has a line there then you have the one that goes to the roof the shorter well the next size is the shorter one and then that one then you have the helper for the edge and then the helper for the corner these are fluorescent pink I don't know if you can really see the color on camera but that's the color that they are kind of give you an idea of the color all right so I'm gonna go ahead and mark these lines one here so that we know where we're at again make sure you have a sharp pencil because you want to get down in there as close as you can to that bottom line the other thing you can do is if you're pretty steady you can hold it at the bottom and drag it just like that that's an option If you have something that is grippy for the bottom of your dollhouse, it'll keep it from sliding. I'm trying to do this on top of here because the craft room right now is a hot mess. Again, I'm lining that up there. So that I can see my line from here and here I feel like that line is a little crooked it may have moved on me so let me check it Now, for this part, I'm just going to close my door, and I'm going to put this all the way over here on the edge, and I'm going to hold it to the edge so that I know that it's square.
All right, now, so to start with the siding, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you, but I will post pictures on my Facebook page so that you can see the finished product. I really need to get the craft room cleared out. Since I started lasering, I've got so much extra stuff in there now. So, my very first one, we're going to line up with the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to use my helper tool that's a glue spreader just to spread that out and to make that more even. What that does is it pulls off any excess glue and leaves it off of there so that I don't have to worry about having too much in one spot and not enough in another. I really want to make sure I get my edges good. Okay, and I'm going to mark my lines so I can still see them with my finger. You see where my line is right there? It's kind of hard to tell. All right, now as soon as I'm done with my glue spreader, for that section, it needs to be wiped off. I'm just using a baby wipe for now because that's handy and it's quick. All right, so for the very first piece, we're going to line up with the bottom just like that. And because it's paper, that's all you need. Now, you can use some Loctite. You know me and Loctite. I like to glue my fingers a lot. So, that's something that you can do. Now, if you can't see your line, go ahead and just go straight across there. Like that, so you can see it. And then you want to line that up. Right even with that line. Again, I'm using one inch siding.
as you can see my siding is perfectly even all the way up at that point now I'll let that dry thoroughly and then I'll come back with a razor knife and I'll just go down the side of that like this and I'll cut that off I'll make sure my knife is sharp when I do it Now, if you're using a different type of glue, you'll probably be able to see through it, but I'm using wood glue for this. So that's why mine is a little bit hard to see. I just want to do one more row for you. And then we'll let this set up and dry and it will be ready to finish tomorrow with the rest of it. Again, this is just paper siding from made from poster board. You could use cereal boxes. very thin cardboard and I spray painted this with a gloss it's actually more of a satin it actually says satin on there but it looks glossier on the um see how it looks a little shinier This is Nutmeg Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X coverage and I did very thin layers and I put about eight coats of a very thin layer. When I say a very thin layer, the first time you don't even know that there's paint on it. The second and third time you don't even know that there's paint on it. After the third time you'll start seeing that there's paint going on it. So just lightly mist it enough to give it a grip and then once it gets a grip and it dries in between then you will go ahead and um, finish it off with that. All right, so as you can see, this has to be cut off yet. I don't want to mess with it because it'll make that all uneven since I didn't use any super glue and I only use wood glue. So there it is, nice and even lines. And I did that by using these helper tools. I'll put them on my shop and you can look at them. And if you want to buy them, you're more than welcome to and I'd appreciate it. Like, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below and share. Ah, as everything falls. I should start a bloopers page because I seem to drop everything when I'm doing this lately. <laughs> and the little guy which doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> there you have it. It's the siding helper tools. And just so you can see the color behind it, I'll show you one more time. They're very bright and pink. Because I like pink and that's like my main color of my website so there you go all right thanks for watching leave a question suggestion or comment below and if you like this video share it check out crafts by Laurie for you on Etsy and that's the number four in the letter U and uh, dollhousetutorials.com thanks a lot see you next time